It is spring and we can see that nature is waking up again after sleeping through the winter. In the church or liturgical year there are five seasons, Advent, Christmas, Ordinary Time, Easter, and Lent. What is Lent? Lent is a spiritual spring, a time for spiritual growth and renewal. Jesus went into the desert for 40 days and nights to pray and fast so that he would be ready to start his mission to tell the whole world about God's love for us. For this reason Lent also lasts 40 days so that like Jesus we can prepare to celebrate Easter through prayer, penance and fasting. Early Christians went on a retreat that lasted 40 days to prepare to become a Christian. This became known as Lent. At some stage, the focus of Lent shifted from baptism preparation to penance, prayer and almsgiving. How long is Lent? Lent starts on Ash Wednesday and ends at the Easter Vigil. It is 46 days long but Sundays are not counted because Christians regard Sundays as a day of resurrection, a mini Easter. When does Lent begin? The season of Lent begins on Ash Wednesday. Why is it called Ash Wednesday? It is called Ash Wednesday because Catholics receive the ashes on their foreheads as an invitation to repent. The word repent means to express sincere regret about what we have done wrong. Why do we wear ashes on our forehead on Ash Wednesday? The prayer that is said as ashes are given is remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. The words are a reminder of our origins and that we depend on God for our very existence. As God breathed life into the dust at the beginning, he can breathe new life into those who have fallen into sin and come sorrowfully to ask for forgiveness. It is a reminder that only with the breath of God can we have life, so we should do our best to heal any part of our life and relationships that need it and return to a better relationship with God. The ashes in the whole season of Lent are a time to refocus on our relationship with God and others. Where do these ashes come from? The ashes used on Ash Wednesday come from the blessed palms left over from the previous year. The palms are burned to produce the ashes. Ashes are considered sacramentals and are blessed with holy water before their use. Why are the ashes on our forehead like a cross? It is a sign of the cross. It is a reminder to us of our belief in God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It reminds us of the cross of Christ and his unconditional love for us through his death on the cross so that we will be saved. How do we prepare spiritually during Lent? By letting go of our sinful behaviors by seeking conversion by practicing penance by following the teachings of Christ. Discipleship, by practicing the three pillars of Lent. What is penance? Penance is making amends or making up for the wrongs we have done. Lent is a time to clean up the mess and fix our lives and our relationships with God and our neighbors. It is us reconciling with ourselves, our God, and our neighbors. What is the sacrament of penance or confession or reconciliation? The sacrament of penance is the celebration of God's forgiveness of the sins of the penitent, person asking for forgiveness. Through penance we turn away from sin, confess our guilt and receive forgiveness and reconciliation with Christ and his church. We should come to the sacrament of penance at least once each year during Lent or Eastertide and as often as necessary when conscious of serious sin to receive God's forgiveness. What are the three pillars of Lent? Prayer, fasting, giving up something, almsgiving, charity. These three pillars are also known as Lenten disciplines. Why do we give up things during Lent? We give things up during Lent as another way of practicing discipline. By exercising self-control, we can free our minds from desires for material possessions and pleasures and focus on the true happiness that can only come from faith in Jesus Christ. So, we give up things that are obviously unhealthy for us such as too much sugar or excessive eating and drinking, or swearing, and things like that. But we can also give up things that aren't bad in and of themselves such as watching TV, video games, excessive use of mobile phones, shopping, and so on. These can distract us from focusing on what is important this season of Lent that is renewing and building our relationship with Jesus Christ. What is discipleship? Discipleship is a learning to be a disciple. The word disciple means student. Student is the one who learns from the master. Discipleship is learning to be like Christ. How do we learn to be like Christ? 
Study Christ's teachings by reading the Scripture, Bible. Follow Christ's teachings and witness Christ's teachings in our life and in the world. Why do we pray the Stations of the Cross during Lent? This practice is traceable back to the early church. Christians would make a pilgrimage to the Holy Land to retrace the steps of Jesus on his way to the cross. As the church grew and such a pilgrimage became unrealistic for many people, they began to retrace the steps of Jesus on his way to the cross by reflecting on events that took during that journey. During Lent, especially on Fridays when we reflect on the crucifixion of Jesus, praying on the stations of the cross has become a time on a devotion. What is the color of Lent? The color of Lent is purple. Purple is a symbol of penance. Why is purple the color of Lent? Purple has always been associated with sorrow and mourning, and during Lent we recall the suffering and death of Jesus. Purple is also the color of royalty and through the death and resurrection of Jesus, we come to recognize him as our king. What is Holy Week? The highlight of the season of Lent is Holy Week. Holy Week begins on Palm Sunday and ends with the Holy Triduum, three days. The three days are, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday. What is the meaning of the Holy Triduum? The Triduum is a celebration that highlights the Paschal Mystery. Through these three days the Church remembers that Christ suffered and died, but that he also came to life. The Triduum is the celebration of the Church's salvation through Christ. The Holy Triduum begins on Holy Thursday. On Holy Thursday there is only one Mass. The Mass of the Lord's Supper which is celebrated in the evening and includes the washing of the feet. No morning Masses are celebrated on this day. What is the significance of Holy Thursday? The faithful gather in church to celebrate the institution of the Eucharist and priesthood. Washing of the feet is a reminder of Jesus' command to serve one another. The Blessed Sacrament is moved to a chapel and the faithful are invited to stay in the chapel to pray before the Blessed Sacrament until midnight. The sanctuary is cleared and all decorations are removed from the church. What happens on Good Friday? This is a holy day of fasting and abstinence. A Mass is not celebrated on this day. The Liturgy of the Lord's Passion is celebrated and the veneration of the Cross. We also pray and reflect on the Stations of the Cross on this day. What is the Veneration of the Cross? The Veneration of the Cross is the last section of the Liturgy of Good Friday. The faithful are presented with the cross, then the faithful venerate the cross with a kiss, as a sign of respect and devotion. What happens on Holy Saturday? The Easter Vigil is the highest point of the Easter Triduum and it begins on Holy Saturday. The celebration proclaims Jesus' triumph over the powers of evil and death. The Easter Vigil begins at night with the blessing of the fire and the exultat. The fire is blessed and used to light the Paschal, Easter, candle. The priest blesses the candle reminding people that Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning, and the end. The Paschal candle is carried into the darkened church. As the procession moves into the church people light their own candles from the Paschal candle carried by the deacon. At the end of the procession the deacon sings the Exultet or Exultation song. The Exultet is a song proclaiming the salvation of the risen Christ. The people hold their candles during the song. The darkened church, the procession, the paschal candle, the fire, and the exultate are all remind us that Christ's resurrection defeated the darkness of evil. This ceremony reminds us the power of Christ cannot be defeated nor those who have his power. What other things happen on the Easter Vigil? After the homily, the baptismal water is blessed with the paschal candle. The catechumens and candidates are initiated with the sacraments of initiation. The congregation renews their baptismal vows. After the baptismal ceremony, the second part of the Mass, the Liturgy of the Eucharist, continues as usual. This is the first Mass of Easter Day, and the beginning of the Easter season, 50 days of celebration that ends on Pentecost Sunday. What do we say during the renewal of baptismal promises? Do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty? Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, 
who was born of the Virgin Mary was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. God, the all-powerful Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and forgiven all our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. I do. When does the Easter season begin and end? The season of Easter begins with Easter Sunday and ends with Pentecost. Symbols associated with Pentecost are, dove, tongues of flame, and wind, red vestments and decorations, which symbolizes the intense love and fire of the Holy Spirit. Let's say the children's prayer for Lent together. Lord, please show me what I should give up for Lent and when I've given it up remind me to pray to you instead to thank you, to love you, to hear from you each and every day in Lent. Amen.